Hey, uh, today is December 20th and yesterday I was just kind of sharing about, yeah, messing things up and when you don't get things right and when you have to ask for forgiveness or, um, yeah, it's like when you have to apologize and there's no qualifiers, how hard that is. And it's like living in, like you can't actually be vulnerable if you don't rest those things and if you're not you know, I felt like I was always okay with saying sorry, but it's like, I was okay saying sorry with the qualifier, like, sorry, I didn't mean it to come that way, or sorry, I couldn't help myself, or sorry, um, you know, my intentions were good, and sometimes it's just hard to sit in the space of, like, this is me, and I was being myself, and I hurt you, and I'm sorry, and there's nothing else, and that feels, like, so heavy and so weighty, uh, and, uh, you know, learning to accept that, and um, sometimes I feel like I, I was able to blame my eating disorder a lot because it's like, well, I, I'm not this person, but the eating disorder has made me this person and I, I don't want to be mean or I want to treat you this way or, but I can't help myself and, um, that has, yeah, it's been a crutch before and I think that just the biggest thing even yesterday, from yesterday's reflection is like, can I be brave enough to be me without my eating disorder? Or can I be brave enough to be me as a strong person in recovery? That means that not everyone's going to like me or not everyone's going to agree with me. Or sometimes I mess up and I'm not going to have my like disorder to blame as the reason why. Um, or I may mess up more because I'm not hiding myself behind my disorder. And that's hard too. It's like there always feels like there's so many consequences with having a disorder, but a disorder also protects people from you and protects me from the world. And it's, you know, it, like I can hide behind it in so many different ways. And as soon as you decide to not hide behind it anymore and to live through the messiness of it and try to live beyond it, that means you don't have that armor in a way. You don't have that protection and you don't have that excuse. And, and that's been hard. And I know that all sounds like I don't know, it sounds really abstract to me when I say it out loud, but um, I'm trying to be okay with the not perfect me. And because the not perfect me is a person, like is me in recovery, is the more truer version of me, is the more honest version of me. And it's not about making everybody happy and it's not about trying to do everything else perfect, but like hiding the actual pain or the feelings that I have um, with the disorder. It's like. I am still learning to feel everything. And the more that I choose to feel because I'm not hiding behind my, or I'm not engaged in my disorder, um, the realer life is and the messier it gets and it has more vibrant color and it's, there's, there's just more life that I'm experiencing now. And I want that, um, but it's also scary <laughs> and hard and hard to live in that space sometimes. and hard to just accept the fullness of the reality of life or the full responsibility of life. And um, yeah, those just aren't always easy things. Uh, but I'm kind of like, I was a, I was disappointed. I, haven't, I hadn't had that kind of situation since the summertime and I thought I was doing better, but in a lot of ways, like I'm glad I had this really like honest, real sort of broken, I'm still messed up me experience during this 90 day even though it wasn't a hiccup it's like oftentimes I'm experiencing those things as like a binge purge cycle but this was just like a full-on honest like this is me this is the like me in the full spectrum and this is like the lowest version of me but it's still me and I like can still hurt people and do the wrong thing and say the wrong thing and um and I have to apologize and be sorry for it and and you know, that doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't make me an unlovable person, but that is, that's hard and I'm still there. And it's like being in recovery does not mean that you're doing everything perfectly. But it does mean that I'm living life more honestly and more fully and like less sheltered and protected by, by life from my, like through my disorder. I am kind of bounding through or pushing through those, those layers that I've used to protect me but I feel more unprotected um, from life and from the like, harsh realities and from myself in it, my own realities and feelings. So I'm 
yeah, I definitely today focus a lot more on taking care of myself. And I said, like, I felt bad. I didn't do that yesterday. I didn't choose. And that's my number one priority. And I, I neglected me and taking care of me first. So today I've been really trying to like drink my water, eat my food, rest and, and take care of me.